Hi my friends and welcome back to Real Estate Italy. In this channel I'm going to show you some real beautiful properties from all around our country. In this episode I'm going to show you this beautiful beautiful property surrounded by nature that has a secret that makes it very very unique and characteristic. So without any further ado come with me and here we go. So here we are my friends here with another property made by Studio Petturiti that is surrounded by greenery by pines cypresses etc here in Umbria we are located in the border between Tuscany and Umbria and here we go what about this beautiful porch with the antique style that houses this fresco couches here you can see these lights that when lighted up when turned on not lighted up when turned on they make a really really beautiful and unique effect during the evening or late evenings during aperitivos This is the table for frescoes, aperitivos, or any meal. That is the Italian garden that I'm going to walk through just about now. And then we're going to see an outlook of the property that is stunning in my point of view. Here's the small Italian garden with the fountain. This is where I, I was during the intro. Look at that. Don't you find this beautiful? The plants that grows on the wall that makes it really, really stunning. And of course, all the palm trees Here, the small garden, which is surrounded by hedges. Look at that. is the view of the house the characteristic style from the old firm houses restored around 25 28 years ago in the 90s but still well maintained like as you could see from the shutters that still maintain a pretty unique style 
as you could see, classic Italian farmhouse style. That is a uh, evergreen, never goes out of style. Here's the big parking lot made in gravel. Look at that. How beautiful is it? Now the house. There's another porch there. With the vine, which brings to the main entrance there, that makes it pretty poetic, isn't it? I really, really like this. Then we will do the internal interiors walkthrough. The pool is there. We are in the garden. Refreshing. Even in these last days of summer, quite delicious. Let's take a look around. If you're curious, look at that. From there you can go to the pool area that we will see in a few. Look at the color of the entrance door that has been well protected from the weather by this vine I think if I'm not wrong that this is original from the old farmhouse pretty rough style of the stone cladding there are multiple styles of cladding of these farmhouses when you think about Italian farmhouse rustic style stone clad you think just about pretty much these style but as you could see from my previous videos there are plenty and it is just that st uh, studio the studying that cladding is a work itself it's very peculiar to study all this kind of styles for example this which in Italian 
we called mattoni with the cotto tiles that can be done in various various styles even talking about the roof that's made in the most authentic one but could be done just in tiles or just in uh, wood etc based on what are the requests of the client and overall the original structure of the house and the neighbor houses studying the characteristic style of every area from the Nicone Valley which is where the house is located okay now let's take a look here at the barbecue area this is a storage but if you take a closer look if you take a closer look you're going to find an external kitchen with barbecue and the sink and everything that is needed for delicious meals surrounded by nature look at that now from this path we are going to go up until we reach the pool area look at that another time take another look at the house fantastic I must remember you that this house contains a secret which you will find very very unique these are the technical rooms there you can find the heating pump for the pool this is the stepway stepway am i right sometimes i confuse italian and english i'm sorry <laughs> but here we go look at that pretty good isn't it Apart from the parasols <laughs> that I find <laughs> not so much well in included inside the environment, let's say that, I, I find this pool area and the big pool, which is, this pool is pretty big, very, very beautiful and private overall surrounded by all the plants that are watered by this system that you can see that co goes all the way until here with all the lavenders and everything the two cypresses that makes the entrance massive cypresses let's take another look here 
do not shoot the parasol <laughs> Here you can have the most quiet experience for a journey, a trip in Italy. This house is rented out for short trans through Airbnb and booking and people loves it. Look at the massive lawn. That's the pathway that reaches the the parking. And now let's take a look inside the house in one moment see you later back under the porch of the house ready to see the interiors or this peculiar mirror Ciao. here we are already for the shooting you could you should be here feeling the freshness of these stone walls because it's really relaxing and uh, you just have to to leave it to be able to to feel it you know Here's the big fireplace, pretty characteristic from all the rustic farmhouses here in Italy, but not all in here in Italy, of course, with the wood. The owner wanted to paint the beams in white and I find it a really good solution because it gives more light to the whole room which is pretty big consider the fact that the structure remained the same look at the furniture How would you call this kind of style? Antique in some places. Or maybe rustic. Pretty well mix well mixed of styles like for example this modern table with these chairs look at them I really like them the pavement has been redone over the last few years and it is done in micro cement that gives it this is not peculiar of uh, these areas but uh, it gives a uh, the house is own its own style 
that I really, really like. I'm gonna be honest with you. The first time I, I've, I came here, uh, I saw this particular type of finish, finishing. I wasn't so. I didn't agree with the owner because it it isn't. Uh, characteristic at all but look at this look at that how it mixes with the walls the the white walls I find it a really good solution that mixes very well so maybe leave a comment if you agree with me or not but uh, you know the owner is always right. The client is always right. Look at this well-cut marble. This is all marble, except for the sink, of course. Look at that. Look at these details here and here too you could see the recurring color of the kitchen furniture which is reproposed here on the French doors, French windows and all the other windows. Gun metal, I should say. In Italiano is uh, uh, gri grigio antracite, anthrax gray maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm too bold with definitions today and translations. Let's continue here with the nice arc. I didn't get inside the house from the main entrance just to give it a twist. But here we are on the vines here. Melanie, the manager, is coming. I'm still shooting, but no worries. Te posso riprende? A me, no, dai. Ok, va bene. <laughs> tranquilla, tranquilla. Tranquilla, tranquilla. Here's the first bathroom here that reproposes the colors of the kitchen furniture. As you can see, I like this style. The satin, satinated glass. And this one, maybe if I do something like this, doesn't work, perfect. Perfect. There's the distinction from the gray walls, from the uh, from the. This is another bedroom. This is the first bedroom that is a massage room too. And a studio, if you want, this nice desk in made in wood. The owner really likes curious lights, and I do too, honestly. And now 
I will show you the night area that you can reach through these staircase. Now the beams are the made in normal color. We first go to the other double bedrooms that you see here. Look at the clean style that brings relax to the entire experience. Look at the color this finishes the engraving here here's the other double bedroom This is another bathroom. Another double bedroom, which is not the master bedroom. Look at the ventilator there, made in wood. I really like it. Look at this. And now the master bedroom. that oversees through this French window the property. Look at that. How beautiful is it? Look at the height of the entire room. Impressive. Really, really impressive. This is a new part of the house. This entire room and downstairs, the structure is new. The other part is the old part. Here you could find an old space bathroom right behind the bedroom. Look at it. Is it curious, isn't it? The style is the same as the downstairs bathroom with this pipe chromed pipes 
that I really, really like, honestly. Look at this. Beautiful. And you have a uh, pretty much 360 view of the whole house. Through this window here. Here's one closet and here is another one. Look how tiny are they, but I really, really like them with this light here. Brings air and freshness to the entire room. That's why it is a master bedroom. And I am going to show you here the surprise I was talking about before or previously. I'm not going to show you still. We have to go down these stairs here. The fence for the boards. We have to be careful not to be electrocuted. Okay. And look at that. The tree house. You tell me if in Italy you ever saw something like this inside a house I honestly never did and I do this and this is my work so <laughs> I don't think so look at that it has been entirely repainted darker and I really like it honestly Let's go, let's go inside. I know you're curious. Here we go. Ta-da! the house there the entire grove here and the panorama too on the Tuscan hills look at this a proper tree house inside the property with his own table for lunches and dinners and everything that you could think of and the Internet Parabola Let's go straight inside it Oh, is it closed? Okay, no props Look at that Isn't it beautiful? Look at that Maybe I can open it? Yep From here If you come here with your Partner, you know that you're going to spend some time here doing what? Playing Uno <laughs> and chess, maybe. Am I right? This is the web, the net, sorry, for the mosquitoes, of course. And there's the small bathroom and look at this how impressive is it wow and it is not over 
that's the zip line I don't know if you could see it there's a zip line there full of surprises this house and here you could see you could find the shower you could even reach the roof here but mm, I'm not gonna do it okay and that was it look at that astonishing and that was it for today's video my friends if you find it curious and interesting please leave a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know if you liked the house and bye bye see you next time